Do you want to build a snowman? Just kidding. I'm not going to sing on this channel. <laughs> but Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this snowman on the side. And I did just put it next to my console table because a lot of you have been asking about my console table. So here's a little update. I didn't finish decorating and putting everything together just yet. But if you miss out on how I made that console table, I will put the video link down in the description. You have to check it out. Yes, it's still standing up. Don't worry, <laughs> it didn't fall apart or anything. But I'm going to show you today how I made that snowman on the side and I definitely love it. You can have your snowman in a planter just like I have it here with flowers and maybe add some lights to it or you can have this out in your front yard and I'll show you later on in a video I'll explain that later but if you want to see how I made this snowman using all Dollar Tree items just keep on watching. To make the snowman, I need three pizza pans. I've seen pizza pan snowmans before, but we're going to take it to a whole new level here. So I'm going to use three of them. I did go ahead and spray painted them white already, and now I'm just going to glue them together using E6000. So I'm just going to put a little bit here and a little bit on the bottom one, and then I'll just place the middle pan on top of those two dabs of glue. Now E6000 does take a while to seal so just make sure you leave this maybe overnight to dry because it does say 24 hours. You want to make sure this is completely dry before moving on to the next step and make sure your pizza pans are perfectly aligned and straight. I did go ahead and add a little bit of Gorilla Glue on the back um, and it's completely dry already now that's why I'm going to move on to the next step and I'm going to go in with either E6000 or Gorilla Glue but I'm going to go in with the paint sticks this I picked up from Home Depot um, this is the only thing that's not from Dollar Tree but I mean you get 10 packs and I believe it was a dollar and I'm only going to use two from this pack these are the one gallon paint mixing sticks and um, you should find it in the paint section. So yes, these are paint mixing sticks. And I'm going, like I said, I'm going to use two and I'm going to use the same Gorilla Glue on the back of the pizza pans and I'm going to glue those in place. Once again, just make sure everything is dry before moving on to the next step. Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one and definitely affordable, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. Some of you might be wondering how come I'm, I didn't paint the back of the pizza pan. I will be covering the entire back of the snowman later on, so I won't worry about spraying, spray painting that right now. While that's drying, I'm going to take two 12 inch dowel sticks and two um, six inch dowel sticks. Those are all from Dollar Tree, by the way. Uh, I will be putting the item numbers down in the description. That way you can just copy and paste it onto the Dollar Tree website easily. But um, now I'm just going to go in with this furniture marker in mahogany. You could use acrylic paint and uh, just paint it, but I just had this on hand and it dries pretty quick, so it's perfect. Now I'm going to use the 12 inch for the snowman's arm and the six inch, I will be cutting it in half to create the hands. Now you should have four little ones and two big 12 inch. Um, dowel sticks. Now it's time to just hot glue them together and create the snowman's arms. So here I'm just using hot glue to create the arm and if you do need a little bit more hot glue after gluing the two other sticks, 
go ahead and put a little bit more for extra support and I'm going to do the same thing to the other sticks. Now I'm just going to basically just paint the snowman's face. If you have a decal you can maybe Mod Podge that onto the uh, pizza pan but as for me I'm just going to go in with paint and just paint the snowman's face. I'm not an artist so this is doesn't look perfect at all <laughs> so I am going to trace the the bottle for the eyes to get a perfect circle and I'm just going to freehand everything else I just basically pulled out a picture from Google and tried to follow that so I'm just going to time lapse this and let's watch the snowman come to life <laughs> One quick tip is use a pencil and maybe draw very lightly. That way, if there's any mistake or if you'd like to erase anything, you could erase it. I don't recommend going straight in with a marker or, um, or paint. So definitely try to use a pencil first. Take a look, see if you need to fix anything, and then go in and trace it with either a Sharpie or you could use markers on this if you'd like. But I went ahead and used acrylic paint for this entire process. There, isn't she cute? Now I haven't glued anything down yet. I just wanted to show you how it's going to look, but I did pick up the buttons, the scarf, and the hat from Dollar Tree as well. And the buttons, I already went ahead and painted them black, and now I'm going to use my E6000 and I'm going to glue them in the middle pan. Just make sure your buttons are evenly spaced out and nicely aligned. Now using my glue gun, I'm going to glue the hat in place. I'm only going to glue it from the front. I'm not going to glue anything from the back yet because like I said, I will be covering the back of the pizza pans with something you'll see in a minute. What I will be using, but just um, a little dab of hot glue on the sides will keep the hat perfectly in place. Now I'm just going to go in with my hot glue again and I will be applying hot glue in the front and I will be um, gluing the scarf down. You could just tie the scarf like this if you'd like, but as for me, I like to keep everything in place so I will be hot gluing the scarf in the front. I will be flipping this and, and working on the back in just a minute, but I wanted to add her arms first. You could just have the arms sticking out like other snowmans are, the arms are just sticking out, but for me, I wanted to make it extra special, so I took the arms and I'm going to place it on her mouth, like as if she's surprised or something. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty cute, but you can definitely have the arms sticking outwards if you'd like, but I'm just going to untie the scarf really quick and just glue that down. And I will be using E6000 and a little bit of hot glue um, to glue down the arms just to keep it in place until the E6000 dries.
when the front is dry i'm going to flip it over and i'm going to go in with this dowel stick i picked it up from walmart i believe it was 97 cents and it's 5 8 of an inch by 36 inches long and like i said i'm going to flip this snowman over and i'm going to work on the back now Now I'm going to take that dowel stick and I'm going to glue it onto the paint sticks we glued on earlier and I just want to make sure that I remove the scarf right there. <laughs> the scarf is going to go over everything we place onto the back so that way the back of the snowman will show the scarf as well. You don't want it under um, items and hidden. So now I'm just going to apply some glue and then put the dowel stick in place and let it completely dry. One thing I want to point out is that you wanna make sure your dowel stick is sticking out a little bit from the bottom of the snowman because that's the part that's going to go in the planter now i'm going to go in with the glittered drape from dollar tree you could always buy these at walmart they're everywhere but um i'm going to use that to cover the back of the pizza pan and cover all of this but another idea i wanted to share with you guys is that you don't have to put it in a planter you can definitely make the snowman and put it out in your yard just make sure to leave part of the dowel stick down at the bottom so that way you can stick it into the ground or like i'm doing here i'll be putting it in the planter but you can definitely have like a family of snowmans out there with some gifts out in your yard using this method and just another reminder make sure <laughs> to leave part of the dowel down at the bottom so that way you can place it in something whether it's the ground or the planter The drape, by the way, I did end up cutting it in half. I didn't use the entire thing. You could just double it up if you'd like, but I went ahead and cut it in half and I'm just gluing this around the pizza pan, the rim, and um, I will be trimming it all down later once it's dry. Once it's all trimmed down, now I can glue down my scarf and here's how it looks. See part of the dowel is sticking out in the bottom right there and it's perfect. Now I'm going to take this plank. Um, I picked them up from Dollar Tree. It comes like six in a pack, the rectangle one. This is just for extra support. I did use Gorilla Glue and hot glue on this and I placed it in the bottom of the planter. And then I'm going to basically just take the entire snowman now and just have her standing inside this planter. I will be adding a mixture of uh, Gorilla Glue and hot glue onto the plank then i'll have the snowman standing in place and i'll add rocks around the snowman and then after that i'll add foam and flowers afterwards And here she is. I will not be keeping her by the fireplace, but I just wanted to get a little footage of the console table right there. And I'm sorry, it's a huge mess. I did not fix it up yet. <laughs> but yes, I wanted you to see how tall the snowman is and that the console table is still alive for the people that were wondering. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I definitely love this project. It's definitely a money saver and it definitely took pizza pan snowman to a whole new level and I love it. I will be adding some lights next to the flowers, but that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs. And don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!